hello everyone welcome back so today we are going to learn how to launch an aws ec2 instance for our nagios go so i have already logged in to my aws instance for launching an instance click on launch instance button here you will get a web form so what you need to do put a name I will give a name Nagios Core. So, what operating system or what AMI Amazon machine image I am going to use is Red Hat. So, I am going to use Red Hat Enterprise Linux SSD volume type and instance type will be t2.micro. For key pair login, this login is used by us for SSH login. So how to create a key pair? So you need to enter a key pair name such as lab Nagios. Key pair type is RSA that is the encrypted private and public pair and private key file format is .pem you can select and you can click on create key pair once it's done you need to select that key pair name so i will select here nagios lab which have already created for network settings uh, you can either create a security group or you can select a existing security group security group is nothing but you there are some rules inbound rules and outbound rules where you can allow the port or disallow the port once you allow the port it will allow the incoming connections to the system or outgoing connections to the system from the system so this is the security group and i will configure the storage is 20 gigabyte of gp2 root volume and i will click on launch instance this will create security group and process to create the instance if i click on instances i will select see that nagios code the name is reflecting and instance state is pending let me refresh it if i click on this checkbox i will get to know the public ip v4 address this address we need to ssh private ip v4 address for internal communication and instance state came to running state and these are all of the details like host name private ip dns name and etc so what i will do i will click on this public ipv4 address i will use this mobax term or you can use putty for the ssh i will click on session click ssh remote host we will specify the username as ec2 user port 22 okay in advanced ssh setting i need to select use private key and need to identify the pem file that is the nagios lab dot pem once i did it i need to click on ok i will be able to log in to this ec2 instance you can do sudo su and i be now logged in to root so who am i logged in as i can use this command what is my host name i can use this is the my host name what is the present directory is a root directory and i can find the ip so this is the ip for internal connect communications so that's all for this video in the next video we will learn how to configure Nagios score on your
EC2 instance Red Hat Serve 